I've shed thousands of pools of sweat and blood throughout my life. While that sounds concerning, it is true, but not in a deadly or gory way. I sweat and blood of passion. But what does it mean to be passionate? Is it to be devoted or dedicated, maybe crazy? Is it something else? According to Google, passion can be defined as strong and barely controllable emotion. But why do we feel such passion for things? How is passion measured? These are the right kinds of things to ask, but the most intriguing concepts to me are in what ways is passion measurable and why is passion important? But the big question is, what is passion? Like I said before, passion can be defined in technical terms as strong and barely controllable emotion. But does it only mean that? Or is it perhaps an umbrella term for a bunch of other things that passion can mean? Passion isn't just saying you have a strong feeling or affection for something. It's actually partaking in that thing and doing it with pride and courageousness. It's acting with pride and courageousness in that thing, unafraid of what people will say or do or think of you. Passion is the ingredient needed to be able to truly admit to yourself that this is something you really love to do despite any other outside forces acting upon you. I know that I am very extremely passionate in everything that I do and say. However, I've noticed that other people around me are not quite the same. I've noticed that it seems to be a growing trend amongst teenagers that there is just not enough passion pushing them forward to continue on, or they do not put any kind of passion into the things that they claim they like or love to do. Throughout my high school years, I have been very active in all things musical theater and plays. I knew coming into it that I already had a lot of experience in performing, so when it came time to really go 100% in every rehearsal every day, and I noticed that people were not giving their best, I decided to take leadership and help other people and took on a more of a boss role or became one of those kids that knew what they were doing so I could be a reliable person for people to look to. However, it was very bittersweet because while I joined performances because I love to perform, I want to have fun and get experiences, meet new people, be with my friends, I noticed that some of the people weren't as passionate and dedicated and devoted as other people were. They acted as if they were forced to be there and they don't take the initiative to really work on anything else that everybody else is working on. And it made me feel that only a few people are actually giving their best and are devoting themselves to their time and this performance. While it is completely normal and okay to not have a burning passion or affection for a hobby or a thing, it can also be looked at as you not giving enough attention or not caring at all about what it is you're doing. According to cleverism.com, some people simply consider passion as an utter waste of time and too indulgent. Perhaps these people are more concerned about general seriousness in life. They care more about general sense of responsibility, power, and money. They don't actually want to introduce a purpose and happiness in their life. While this tone of this particular excerpt sounds harsh, it's actually quite factual, especially as you observe the behaviors of people around you, you begin to notice that it would seem a lot that people want to take an easy way out to get what they want and where they want to go, but they don't have the slightest tint of even liking a thing that they're doing. Passion is not just something that fills us with joy or excitement or just a positive feeling. It helps us ground those roots in setting up something for ourselves that we can be successful in. Investopedia touches on this and says, if enthusiasm and passion are present, people tend to be more resilient when encountering obstacles. People who are passionate about what they do rather than just working for the money loan tend to have more positive outlooks that can help them overcome difficulty through problem solving. This not only helps adjust your mindset to a more optimistic and positive one, but this would also be quite a favorable quality that people will look for when you perhaps are applying for a job one day. But it is not just about changing your mindset or getting a job. It is because we are human in one of my favorite movies ever. Dead Poet Society, John Keating, a teacher who used unorthodox methods to break his male students away from what they were always held back by. One particular thing that I wanted to share from this movie is we, we don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race and the human race is filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. We as humans are meant to overflow with a passion, to live for love and Wait, laughter, please. and to see and hear and question everything around us. I think that passion can hesitantly be put into some simple words like love, laughter, and beauty. Passion is to be human, so be human.